So thank you very much for all of your insights. I wondered if maybe you could tell us a little bit about how your products in particular are even viable for women who are making use of that. How do you make that viable to grow in the long term? Um, how do they show that sustainability in the long term throughout every stage of its life? Okay, with uh, changing the women's mindset to be using really strong we need to get the pads in the ladies' hands and the young girls' hands. And to do that, funding is needed, uh, funding that we can uh, roll out these um, pads to the women uh, so that they can uh, start embracing change, mm. changing their mindset and understanding more about their menstruation and the climate, the sustainability issues that they're, they're tackling every period, each time. Uh, so with grants and, and different types of funding that we can access, it'll allow us to be able to put pads in women's hands. Uh, those pads are replacing, every single pad's replacing 60 uh, single-use pads. Mm. So the women will be reducing something like 300 pads a year from going into landfill per year, per woman. In a village of 300 women, you're talking about a lot of landfill. Um, so that would avoid a lot of uh, waste. Mm. Uh, that would improve the mindset of the women about uh, sustainability. But it'll also empower the women because they've got their pad when they've got their period. That's what the beauty of this is. Uh, another important thing about the sustainability is uh, with the pads, they start at the age of about 10 and 12. Girls are getting their menses younger these days than they mm -hmm. ever have. It's got to do with diet. It's got to do with availability of different types of fats that they're eating and putting into their, diet, into their food that weren't here in our, in our environment 200, 500, you know, 1,000 years ago. So mm -hmm. girls are getting, having their periods long, longer in their life. And also I've found, uh, after being in the Pacific for so many decades now, because it tends to be a little bit taboo, they're not talking about um, menstruation or even after childbirth, how to look after your physicality, which leads into age. As you get older, a number of the women get what, incontinence. Mm -hmm. And incontinence affects one in four. Wow, that's quite a lot. And it affects every day that they're alive. So they need a pad, six, so a number of pads a day. Mm. For about every four hours, they need to change a pad for hygiene reasons. Mm. And uh, they literally are living with that full time. Wow. So it, you go from a teen, a young ten-year-old, right through to quite aged people with uh, early, uh, early level one and two incontinence mm. uh, that need pads. So sustainability wise, it is reducing the incredible amount of landfill. Massive, I And it's, it's also empowering the women because they've got their dignity. It's something that, that really, that it tends to be a bit of a man's environment. Uh, they like to rule uh, their community, which is wonderful. They've got their gifts and women are in their place, but they also need to be empowered so that they can feel comfortable, they can deliver the children to school, they can get to church on time, they can get to the markets comfortably mm. and they can support each other through whether through after they've given birth they need the pads. So it's, it's a long-term uh, approach that we have for the pads. Mm. That's why we want to have the best quality and they can last as long as they do. And after that five years, they go into the earth, they take three to four months to break down. That's not it's, very long. No, it's actually very healthy for the environment that it can go into. And then we start with another set of pads. It's, to me, it's um, a, just a resource that we need to work on and start getting them more pads into more women's hands. Most definitely. If you would like to help to put more pads into women's hands, if you're watching us via YouTube, you can click on the little eye above, somewhere around here, to uh, make a donation. If you're watching us via social media, all of the information will be in the caption below.